Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here, Top Fitness Strategies. Today we're going to talk about nutrition. Whoa, nutrition, that's right. Hey, first of all, let me tell you, I'm not a nutritionist. Let me put, it, put, it, put it right out there, I'm a personal trainer, I'm not a nutritionist. But because of the default category, if you will, I got to know a lot about it as well. Okay, so I'm going to hit something and, and as always, I paint everything with broad strokes to keep things simple. I like common sense and simple. All right. Hey, if you're here for the first time, click the subscribe button, hit the bell. You know what to do. Got stuff coming up that you, you want to make sure you're going to be part of. All right, here we go. So I got a question recently about carbs. They say, well, I'm cutting back. I don't eat any kind of carbs, but uh, uh, is that good for me? I'm like, well, it's, it, you can't say it is or it isn't because carbon, carbs or carbohydrates uh, for those who don't know exactly what carbs are, carbohydrates are the the, the the fuel for the body. For the human body, it's the fuel. So there are what they call good carbohydrates and bad carbohydrates. I'm not going to get into specifics and how they uh, help with the composition of the cells and things of that sort that goes on inside of it. What you need to look at, in a nutshell, once again, broad strokes because I'm all about common sense and keeping things simple and I'm also all about the 50 the fitness over 50 crowd the people who want to look better feel better lose a little bit of weight that's what we're all about okay so keep things simple if it has sugar in it man-made sugar processed sugar comes in a box type sugar chances are it's not going to be good for you now does that mean you should cut it all out well it depends on how extreme you want to get I'm Italian hence the hat says Italian I'm Italian. I like my pasta. I like my bread. I like my vino. All right. I like to drink it and everything else. I like to eat the pasta. And here's the funny thing: if you go to Italy, Italy, if you go to Italy, you're not going to see a whole lot of um, overweight people or obese people. Versus in the United States where I live now, you see quite a bit of it. So what's the difference? Because in Italy, they eat a lot more pasta than we do here in the States. At least that's the assumption. I don't have any kind of proof one way or the other. That's the assumption. Okay, I've been to Italy several times and I am usually the biggest one there in terms of uh, body mass. Okay, I'm not saying I'm extremely morbid obese. I'm just bigger than most people over there. Now maybe it's the part of the country I'm in. I don't know. I'm usually up north. So do think of it how you want to. All right. So, but when you think of Italy food, you think of pasta. So then, my question is, well, why is it over there more uh, people are more obese than they are over here? My theory is, and this is just a theory, and when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. We have so many fast food type restaurants around here. Everybody and their mother. Everybody and their brother, everyone and their dad, everyone and their cousin, they go there several times a week. So my thing is, if you go to fast food, what you're usually going to get, the typical burger, fries, drink, burger, fries, shake, something, fries, and a drink. And I don't care if the drink is uh, diet or not. It's going to have sugar in it. The shake, of course, is going to have sugar in it. And it's going to be processed sugar, the, the, bad, the sugar that is not good for you. So think about uh, uh, carbohydrates in terms of sugar, whether it's good for you or bad for you, for you. Now, good sugar, once again, broad strokes here, good sugar, good sugar, fruits, and vegetables. All right? Um, uh, what's it called? Sweet potatoes, peas, uh, broccoli, um, different salads and those they have carbohydrates in them well maybe the salad doesn't I guess it depends on the salad beans all kinds of beans are good for you all right now I'm not saying to only exclusively eat that if 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 if, if you're training for some sort of uh, competition to show off your body yeah it's probably you want to get more down and dirty in, in understanding that but if you just want to look better, feel better, lose a little bit of weight, cut back some on your processed sugar. Once again, if it's man-made sugar, if it comes in a box, chances are it's not going to be good for you. Back up a little bit. Back off a little bit. Now, uh, I mentioned soda a little bit ago. Why? Because the first thing I think of when I think of sugar. 
soda. I am a Mountain Dewaholic. I've said that several times. It's it's not a secret. Have I do I drink a whole lot of it? No. Is it my favorite drink? Yes. <laughs> so go figure. Here I am talking about it. don't drink it, but it's my favorite drink. So I don't drink a whole lot of it. Uh, when I was younger, drank drink it by the case full. All right. And when when we were younger, a lot of us did stupid things like that. And when we get older, we can't keep doing that. All right. So thing is, oh yeah, desserts, cookies, uh, a lot of gluten-free stuff has a lot of processed sugar in there. Sorry, it does. You know, we got to look at it that way. So you want to feel better about yourself, cut back on the sugar. If you're used to eating a lot of sugar, and, and I know we start talking about carbs, I want my sugar kick, but it's, it has to do with the same thing because sugar is a carb. All right. All right. If you want to get more technical, I, I, I get that coming up here in the next few weeks, so I, and I have uh, I, I'm kind of doing interviews as well, so we'll get that going on in the next few weeks. So cut back on your sugar quite a bit, and at first, yeah, you're gonna your body's gonna say, hey, whoa, what's going on here? I don't have any more sugar coming in here. What am I gonna do? Your body's gonna go through some changes. You might have a little bit of what they call withdrawals. Hey, you're adults. Learn to deal with it. Get over it. All right. You haven't made it this far in life without something. Sometimes something kicking you in the teeth. This is just one more thing is going to happen. Deal with it. Get by the first few days, and you're golden. Okay? Now that's if you go cold turkey. If you just cut back a little bit, so be it. All right. So the whole thing about carbs is sugar. All right. Look at it that way. Carbs and sugar. Sugar is bad. I, the doctor, a cardiologist, once told my father, sugar is poison. And since that day, when he told my dad that, I'm a coffee drinker as well, I cut out putting sugar and any kind of crap in my coffee. Cut it out since that day. Was it tough at first? Absolutely. Now I can't drink coffee with any kind of sugar in it, so don't give it to me. I'll drink coffee with you all day long. Don't give me sugar. You can give me whiskey. Not brown. A whole different story. We'll get into that another time. But anyway, hey, check the links below. All kinds of stuff happening over there. Got a new book, uh, ebook I wrote in there in the links. 102 Common Sense at Home Health and Fitness Tips. Check it out. Um, also, I have other links. Go to topfitnessstrategies.com. Get on the Q&A weekly newsletter. We have a lot of fun with it. You provide the Q. I provide the A. We'll go that route. Okay? So I'm going to stop it here. So let me look around. All right. Stop it here. And that's it. So until next time, this is Andrew Top Fitness Strategies. Ciao.